This is the old Melbourne jail, once known as one of Australia's toughest prisons. Today, it's a popular tourist attraction and visitors flock here to wander the creepy hallways and to find out more about the prison's most notorious former inmate, the 19th century bushranger, Ned Kelly. Kelly was a bank robber and convicted cop killer, but he gained a reputation as a champion of the downtrodden, a real-life colonial Robin Hood. Of course, he's most famous for wearing a set of homemade armour. Unfortunately for Ned, the armour only protected his torso, and he was eventually captured by police with 28 bullet wounds in his arms and legs. In October 1880, he was condemned to death. 60,000 people signed a petition in an attempt to save him from the noose, but it failed and he was hanged from this beam. Now we have the death mask of, of Ned Kelly here. His head would have been shaved following his execution, his head removed. And you have there the actual facial expression and likeness of uh, him at his point of death. Ned Kelly was a wild young bush ranger. Over 130 years after his death, Kelly continues to be a controversial figure both celebrated and reviled by his countrymen. His face is instantly recognisable and his story has been told in endless books, films and even a song by the great Johnny Cash. Ned Kelly took the blame Ned Kelly won the fame Ned Kelly brought the shame And then Ned Kelly hanged After Kelly was hanged, his body was buried in an unmarked grave. So nobody knew where his remains lay until recently. In 2009, a number of skeletons were discovered at the site of the former Pentridge Prison in the north of Melbourne, and they were brought to the Victorian Institute of Forensic Medicine for examination. One, which was missing a skull, was of particular interest. This skeleton had injuries on it that corresponded with the historical wounds that were known to have occurred to Ned Kelly. So we were able to go back and match a DNA sample from this skeleton with the DNA sample from the family and we had a match. Has she stayed? No, Ned's great-great-nephew provided the DNA used in the tests and the discovery means the family can now give yes, the bones right. a Christian burial. The identification of Ned's remains was um, so important for the, the whole family. Um, it's, it's, it's like um, Ned's going to have some peace. Uh, for a long time he suffered the indignity of just being virtually thrown in a box and buried in a jail, but this man is an Australian icon. Um, so there, there is a a big responsibility to, to bury this person with dignity. Ned will be laid to rest in Victoria's northeast, where he once roamed with his gang. To this day, it's known as Kelly Country. In the heart of this region is the town of Glen Rowan, where the story of the Kelly gang reached its fiery climax. If there wasn't Ned Kelly, there'd be no town. I wouldn't be here. Uh, the museum wouldn't be here. Uh, he's, a, he's a tourism industry in himself. In this region, Kelly fever hits a peak every year with the Ned Kelly Festival. A gathering which brings enthusiasts from across the country. Visitors can try Ned Kelly wine, make a Ned Kelly biscuit, or even try on a locally knitted and very authentic Ned Kelly beard. Play for the, Bush Ranger Kelly. the final burial of Australia's iron outlaw is a happy ending to a much loved story, but there's little evidence that the legend of Ned Kelly will fade away any time soon. After all, there's always the mystery of the missing skull.